Hey everybody, Jeremy Reed here. Today we are gonna talk about protein shakes. Now, a couple days ago I posted on my Facebook page, which the address is right here. <laughs> Facebook.com forward slash Jeremy Reed Fitness. Uh, I posted how many protein shakes do you drink in a day? Just trying to get an example of uh, how many people still, you know, how many people out there drink and what they drink. Um, the numbers were pretty drastic. Some none and others up to five a day. So I thought I'd touch on what my philosophy on protein shakes should be. Um, first off, there's nothing better than real whole quality foods, nothing. Now, there are a couple times in your day which I do think it'd be beneficial or could be beneficial to get a faster, quicker protein source in you, like from a protein shake, um, to help deliver those amino acids to your muscles faster and quicker than it could be from something like chicken or beef. Those two times of the day would be first thing in the morning. Essentially, you've been fasting all night long as you've been sleeping. You wake up, your body's kind of in this depleted state. It, it'd be beneficial for you to get some amino acids to your system faster than normal. Now, with that said, there's tons of great physiques out there where they, their first meal of the day isn't a protein shake. It comes from eggs or egg whites and you know, so um, take it for what it is. But I do think there's some benefit on um, getting, you know, getting that protein in your system faster for meal number one. Now the second time in your day, which I do think it'd be beneficial to get protein quickly into your system would be immediately post-workout. Now everyone's heard of this thing called the anabolic window. It's like this crazy <laughs> window of time where your body's like a sponge and you need to feed it. And if you don't, then why even bother working out? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's that severe, but I do think it is important to get some protein in your system as fast as possible after working out. Um, I personally take a protein shake, just the powder in a shaker bottle in my gym bag. I fill it up with water at the gym and literally have it in my body before I've even hit my car on the way out of the gym. So. Um, those are the two times where I really feel it's most beneficial to take a protein shake. But again, there's plenty of great physiques out there where their post-workout meal is rice and chicken or rice and fish or rice and beef, some sort of protein source. So it really does, you know, again, go to show you that does it make that big of a difference? I don't know. For me, there's a whole nother aspect of protein shakes. Um, many protein shakes nowadays taste really good um, and don't have a ton of uh, added sugars and fats to them. So something like a, um, uh, you know, Muscle Tech Phase 8 actually is a really good tasting protein. A little chalky, but tastes great. Um, Muscle Farm Combat Powder is a great tasting protein. Um, optim optimum Nutrition, 100% whey, gold standard whey, pretty decent tasting protein. So for those that have this sweet tooth, um, or you know they love to get something sweet in, yeah, it'd be better to have one of your meals be made from protein powder than it would be to eat and then go out and binge on chocolate or you know ice cream or something like that to fix that sweet tooth. So for me, I do enjoy having a protein shake, possibly two some days, um, and it, you know I like it for the taste for the most part. Other than that, I'm stuffing my face with real whole food. Um, slow digesting carbohydrates from brown rice, sweet potatoes, oatmeal, this type of stuff. Um, and my protein sources are all lean protein sources for the most part. Lean beef, uh, lots of chicken breast, uh, fish, you know, anyway. So that's my take. I really don't think um, it's in your best interest to make a majority of your meals protein shakes in a day. I really don't. I think our bodies are gonna run more efficiently eating good, clean, healthy food. Um, I also I've noticed unless you do, unless you're blending up these shakes into nice smoothies, it's really hard to get your vegetables and fruits in there as well. Um, so, you know, I'm a big advocate of eating green fibrous vegetables uh, and it's really hard to do <laughs> asparagus with a protein shake. So, uh, you know, I, I would just recommend that a majority of your food in a day comes from real whole foods. Uh, if you are going to have protein shakes, try to fit it in either meal one or your post-workout meal. That'd be my recommended recommendation for you. All right, take care. Talk to you soon.